Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasra. A lot of you guys probably know me from Instagram where I do a lot of modest fashion vlogging. So if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to my channel. I feel so weird saying like welcome to my channel because you guys literally I filmed three videos before this like in the past like two three months ago I've done a get ready with me an eat vlog and um, a hijab tutorial but it never made past my computer hardware like I'm so terrified to post it I don't know what it is but I hate the way I look on YouTube or like on video in general but I'm gonna post this. I hope you guys are super excited because I am. I'm gonna do a get to know me. I thought this would be a good first video and a good way to introduce myself. So let's get started. So if I keep looking down, it's because I have all the questions from Instagram here. I did a live Q&A about like two months ago and I asked all of you guys to send in questions. So a lot of them are screenshots from then. But I also posted a picture just this morning saying leave your questions below. So I'll go back and forth from both of them. So the first question I have is how did you get into blogging and when did you get started? Okay, so this is kind of funny and this is a little shout out to my older sister, Mariam. She's also on Instagram. Her handle name is Sincerely Mariam. So she actually started before I did about a year and a half um, before I started. So she started, I think it was like 2013 or, or late 2014. And I watched her, I kind of laughed at her. I, I said I didn't understand and what she was doing was crazy. But then being a little sister, I just kind of like followed her footsteps and it kind of just rubbed on me. And so that's how I got started. Another question that I get asked a lot is about my profession and my career and if hit up. Um, fashion and blogging is my full-time job or what so I actually have a full-time job I'm a petroleum engineer technologist it sounds super fancy but it really isn't so yeah I do have a full-time job I do that Monday through Friday and then I do my blogging stuff um, just over the weekend so I have thankfully alternate Fridays off which gives me a good three days to work on my blog so usually my sister and I will go out on either a Saturday or Sunday and we'll do a full day of shooting and that's how I balance both my job and Instagram so it's been fun I have there are some days that it's tiring but you know I love both so I will continue doing it um let's see what we have here a lot of the questions that I got um when I asked about questions that people had for me on my story were personal so if you guys want I can do another video in depth about um, my previous relation um, my divorce and how I have learned from it and um, where I am now and my future uh, goals so another question I have here is what are your future goals what is your biggest fear what is a constant goal you have that keeps you motivated in your field of work and a book or movie that changed your life. Wow, that is a lot. Okay, so to answer the last one because it's the quickest, um, a book or movie that changed my life. I don't read, I don't watch movies either. I'm one of those losers who literally doesn't know anything about television. I don't know any shows, I don't know any music. I was just brought up that way. My parents, we didn't, we never had cable. My parents really didn't like us watching TV either, so I just never had any interest in it. Um, so I can't answer that. Um, your future goals well this is a big one I have a lot of goals um I want to inshallah start something that can be of a help to other Muslim women who have been going through divorce or kind of struggled with uh, society and and being in their community after being divorced I know there's a really big stigma associated um, with the divorcee that's a um, goal that I'm hopefully trying to achieve in the next few years um, biggest fear um cancer that is so weird but my biggest fear is cancer i think about it all the time when i'm heating up my food when i'm eating sugar when i'm eating processed food i'm like ah cancer i don't know it's just my biggest fear i feel like because it's been so common recently i just think about it more and more that's my most embarrassing moment my most embarrassing moment this is so crazy i don't even know if i told like people in my real life, friends and family, but I remember so vividly in sixth grade, we were at a recess 
and we were doing, uh, we were playing jump rope. So it was a group of girls and guys. I think there was like six or seven of us. And I was in the middle of jump roping and then my pants fell off. It was the most terrifying thing in the whole world. I was devastated as a sixth grader. I don't even know. I was so skinny and small. It's probably why my jeans didn't fit me. It was so embarrassing. I get asked all the time, is where are you from? So both of my parents are from India. You guys, I'm being such a noob right now. I got up like three times just to make sure that my camera was still recording. So if this video is like super choppy and I'm moving positions a lot, it's because I've been getting up numerous times to make sure my computer is like, oh, my camera is still recording. Um, what else? Let's see here. Okay, so this is a good one. Someone said, I have been skinny all my life and I know how it feels when people talk about it. Have you ever been judged over your body type when you used to be skinny? If yes, how did you deal with those type of people and did the comments affect you? Okay, so if you know me in real life, then you know all my life I have been super skinny um, and slim. So I remember it from like when I was 15 all the way till when I was like 22. I wore the same size. I was an extra small. I was a double zero in jeans. Um, all my friends in high school started developing curves and their body became more um, full, but I still stayed pretty slim. And it's strange because I never felt insecure about it. I was never um, embarrassed being skinny or small or slim. And all I have to say is you just have to love and embrace whatever body type you have, whether that's big or small, or short or fat, like whatever it is, those words and those connotations are only in your head. No one else is thinking that way. Being skinny is just as being beautiful as someone being full or thick. Um, I remember after high school, I did try to start drinking in like Insure um, to help gain weight and stuff. But I don't ever think that it was from coming from a negative place. I think everyone is beautiful in their own way. Um, if you are getting negative comments about it, I would just, you know, be open to say like, hey, what you're saying, you know, is affecting me. And I really would appreciate if you could be kind to me and respect my body type. Um, people who love you shouldn't be saying something rude anyway. Um, and then to yourself, I would always give myself a pep talk, tell yourself that you're beautiful, that you're worth it, and that negative comments shouldn't ever get to you because your value and your worth is within you, not from someone else's reaction or response to you. So remember that and also a tip to gain a healthy weight is to start training, so build muscle. I started that back in um, late 2016 and it helped me tremendously. I think that's the way I gained most of my weight. Uh, what I also get asked a lot is um, for hijab tutorials and I'll be doing that soon. The minute I get this up and I hit an accomplishment, I will start posting more guys, so look out for that. I also get asked a lot what hijab uh, material I wear. I really enjoy wearing a blend of cotton and viscose. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it because um, I like that it's thicker and it stays on your head. I'm not wearing that today, but usually that's what I'm always wearing. I get a lot of questions um, about where I shop. So I did a full blog post about my favorite stores for both Eastern and American wear and I'll put that below. But quickly, I like to shop at Zara, ASOS, uh, Forever 21, uh, Topshop. Mm, I think that's about it. What is your favorite city? So if you guys don't know, I was born in Chicago. So I freaking love Chicago. Being born there and then having my immediate family there seals the deal for me. I'm so close with everyone over there. My grandma's there as well. I just have such a deep connection to that city. I don't know what it is. I think partly it's because I was born there, but that's my second home. Freaking love Chicago. How do you travel so often and who pays for it? I get a lot of time from work, so I have three weeks um, paid vacation that I can take, so I use that up to travel, and the majority of the time I pay for my own travel expenses. I do collaborate with hotels though, which um, sometimes covers costs, the majority of the time I'm paying for it myself, um, so yeah. 
So I think that is it for today, guys. I really hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more, please leave us some suggestions below of what I should film next. If you have some more questions that you wasn't able to answer, also leave them below and I'll try to get them um, answered as soon as I can. Other than that, I hope you all have a lovely day. Take care and bye!